everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my settings for the PS2 emulator, PCSX2, and I'm going to be showing you my system specs and what I'm running uh, to have the emulator run uh, buttery smooth, okay? So let's get into the emulator first, and let's go into emulation settings. Alright, um, actually I have all the settings on default except the speed hacks, okay? So let's start off with EE, so this is on default, VUs is on default, GS is on default. Uh, speed hacks, I have Enable INTC speed detect uh, spin detection uh, checked. Uh, enable weight loop detection checked. MVU flag hack checked. And multi-threaded micro V1 checked. Okay, um, but only have this one checked if you have three cores or more, obviously, because you know if you can just read right here, it clearly tells you that. Okay, uh, this one, these two right here on this side, here and here. Um, they say, uh, s you know, you have a, a significant improvement in speed uh, with no noticeable side effects, right? So that's good. Uh, except this one right here with the flag hack, it does say that it might cause bad graphics, but I haven't uh, seen any, so I keep it clicked, okay? Um, and remember, depending on which game you're playing, you're going to have to play around with the settings, okay? Um, you could also, if you have a lower end PC, you can go ahead and try out these uh, presets, all right, and gradually increase until you get the results that you're looking for okay so let's click OK here and let's go to my uh, video settings okay uh, so right here I'm using the GSDX 10 plugin I'm running DirectX uh, 11 on hardware which is you know a graphics card I'm running at uh, four times native resolution um, on the current graphics card that I have yeah, anything more than four, it really kind of starts to slow down dramatically. So four is a, a good sweet spot for me. And even at four times native, um, it's way over uh, 1080p resolution. So I have FXAA shader checked, texture filtering checked, and AA checked. Okay. Uh, if we go into configure, I have the MSAA at eight times. Um, for most games, I actually have it at 16. But for Persona 3 Fez specifically, when I go into battle on uh, 16 times it does have a noticeable stutter from when you you know slash at the enemy to start a battle that little slow motion bit that it does uh, it's it's really nasty so I lowered it down to 8 and I don't have that problem anymore and speaking of which I don't really notice that big of a difference between 16 and 8 so I keep it at 8 and everything is good I have the sprite option checked and aggressive CRC checked apparently this uh, helps with some uh, some edges, some textures to make it a little bit more clear because there's some parts of Persona 3 where it's kind of like uh, and I click this and those problems went away so I'm good on that. Alright so those are my graphic settings and the other settings are basically uh, except for the controller obviously because that just depends on if you're using your keyboard, uh, an Xbox controller or uh, you know a USB you know, uh, gamepad uh, and the rest is all default. Okay. Uh, the what else? Yeah, and that's it. So if we look at my system specs here, I am running a Core i3 4130 Haswell fourth generation Intel processor, clocked at 3.4 gigahertz. Okay, um, this is actually a locked processor. I can't overclock this, but 3.4 is uh, it's really good. It's really fast, and it does what I want to do. Okay, and when it comes to emulators, especially uh, PCSX2. It relies more on CPU speed than uh, your graphics card. You can actually have a really, really old graphics card, and as long as you have a really uh, a CPU at least uh, three gigahertz or faster, it'll run relatively well. Okay, and the graphics card that I have is this one. I actually have it here. I have the Radeon 7750. All right, this was a cheap card. It costed me uh, like seventy-five dollars or so. Uh, it's a good entry-level card for for anyone who wants to build their first PC. Um, this is my processor. This was this is in euros. This is about uh, I don't know a hundred a hundred dollars. Yeah, around a hundred dollars or so. And I have a, a one stick of eight gig uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, uh, Kingston HyperX Blue. This is actually the cheapest one I could find, and it runs well. So, and the emulator I have, the build number I have is 
5782 and this website has the latest revisions uh, they're just minor updates until they release the next big update and the last big update they had was 1.10 so 5782 is just you know minor uh, updates so right now they're at 5857 so as you can tell they've um, they've done quite a few since the last time I updated mine was on January 14th and today is January 31st okay so I hope this video helped you guys and uh, if you have any questions leave a comment subscribe of course please I'll be releasing more videos more Persona 3 Fez walkthrough videos and uh, more videos of whatever um, you guys request of me so alright take care guys